Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerxman at you today with another Madden Ultimate Team video and today we have the next episode of Pack and Play. Now I don't give a shout out to Bailey May for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are sub to the channel, turn the case blonde, and comment down below Nota Gang. If you guys are going to be using Underdog Fantasy today, make sure you guys go ahead and follow me over on Twitter. You can use code Zerxman at first deposit up to $100 and as I already told you guys, right, a lot of these videos you are seeing this weekend whatever except for like new content ones these are pre-recorded so this one i'm actually recording on wednesday so there are no ultimate legends curling packs uh we do have nfl honors cards we could like potentially pull them today whatever but last night tuesday night my dad and i actually combined for fourteen hundred dollars in w's nba picks it was insane so make sure you guys follow me on twitter you can copy my picks do the opposite lately i've been having some crazy crazy nights we had a three-day stretch of over two thousand dollars in w's and as i said as of last night which was tuesday fourteen hundred dollars hopefully we can kind of keep that going here and just continue on with the w's so use code zerk follow me on twitter if you want to see my picks now also guys i need you to go down below and let me two challenges to do in the next episode of pack and play the two challenges in this episode Number one, for every SWAT or interception, we get a pro fantasy pack. So, kind of cool stuff right there, even if I drop a uh, interception that would still count as a SWAT, technically. So, that would count for a pro fantasy pack. And the second challenge is I have to run, and I've already done a challenge similar to this, but you guys just love to, uh, love to poke fun at my Cowboys. I have to run a QB draw with 14 seconds left in any quarter and yeah that's it run a qb draw in 14 seconds left any quarter which i don't have qb draw in my playbook i run pats or maybe i do i'm not sure if i do or do not i think i don't but if i don't then i'll just come on five wide and scramble with joe burrow so qb draw so it doesn't have to be specifically in any quarter ever end of the half end of the game anything like that it just has to be at the end of any quarter uh, that i decide so as you guys can see this is the team definitely looking a lot better recently right joe burrow patterson wide receivers getting up there and then defensively you know uh the secondary maybe could still use a little bit of help uh with the safeties anyways d line maybe could use a little bit of some juice but corners i will say anyways are looking pretty solid so with that let's go ahead and get into it looking to take your game of madden 22 to another level make sure to check out hotroute.tips get access to ebooks tips and schemes from madden pros use code zerk for 10 percent off let's dominate weekend league all right so let's get into this that is my top three of course you know aj jim ramsey and joe burrow all right he's got a good team all right so let's see what we can do my opponent has a really really good team so hopefully you know we can run the ball and just move the ball in general right here in offense which is kind of looking like this game may be a running game for me you know i'm looking at the defense my opponent's coming out in and i really really think this is about to be a big running game for me we'll see about that but on second down here i am looking to pass the ball is he blitzing off that right side i think he's sending a corner off that right side Nope, maybe not. Maybe he's not sending a corner. Okay, so we didn't send a corner blitz. I thought that he was, and I tried to get the ball off. All right, third and four coming up. Can we pick up this first down here? As this guy does seem, you know, a little bit blitz happy. I think he's about to start sending a bunch of blitzes my way. And you guys can also notice here that he is pressing his corners because he's obviously not very afraid of uh, the speed that I have at wide receiver, to be honest, versus his corners. He's definitely got the uh, mismatch there. However, he just keeps giving me the running back. So, hey, if you want to just give me the running back all day, I will gladly take that every single play. As we're going to have X open here, Michael Irvin, the X Factor with X. And you can't, you can't give me a block, Finley. Well, I guess that probably would have been a block in the back there. So maybe best that he didn't. But down to the 11-yard line here. And once again, dude, he's just giving me Patterson. Like every single play in Patterson fighting into the end zone. So Patterson just absolutely fighting to get into the end zone there. Now, my opponent does have a halfback OBJ and Tim Tebow. So, honestly, him having Tebow doesn't worry me too much, but that halfback Odell is actually a pretty good card, as I thought for sure he was going to go deeper, and he did actually go deeper. I'm just too slow. So, Keanu Neal, just a little bit too slow there for me to keep up. And is he going to run the football? Let's see. Are you going to run the ball here? 
I am running a QB contain, obviously have to look out for Tebow, and he's not running, he is going to be passing the football, and the flats are open there. Now, he hasn't scrambled yet, so I'm not going to use a QB contain until he starts to scramble, as, oh, that's going to be a intentional grounding right there, I'll take that. And I'm third and 19 now, guys, I am blitzing here, so I am going to send AJ Terrell right there off that edge and hopefully he can come in free and get some pressure on him as he's there and we get the sack. So we ended up getting the sack. Now we need another one though to actually get a pack for sack. So we don't get a pack there. However, we have Patterson here for the first down. But we've only got one pack right now, but he did actually punt the ball to us. So let's see if we can continue to, you know, go down the field here as oh i wanted to try to throw deep all right so that one was on me we ended up taking the sack because i wanted to try to throw deep and now it's actually second and 28 because i got a delay of game so even better better way better for me there as he is gonna be sending a little bit of a blitz and i think i can actually throw that over the top of him randy he swatted it i definitely thought that i had enough room there to actually fit that in and sadly i did not third and 28 coming up here and I'm looking to go somewhere with the ball. I kind of just have to try and re Oh, yeah. This is going to work. This is going to work. Finley. Oh, that's a dot. That is a dime, Jermichael Finley. What a play. What a play right there to Joe Burrow. You know, getting out of the pocket there with a little playmaker and just a perfect, perfect throw as once again, Patterson is always open. This guy is pretty much giving me Patterson like every single play. So I will continue to take advantage of that if he's going to give me him, which again, he did right here in Patterson again in for his second TD. All right, so we're up to two total packs right now, but we also already have one sack. So we can just manage to get another sack here. That would be a pack, which we get some pressure, and I tried to get the sack. The D-line is definitely coming through a little bit. You know, you love to see it, as I'm gonna look out for something a little bit deeper down the field here. He's about to throw that in route. Yup, saw that coming from a mile away. All right, so a minute and 31 seconds left here in the second quarter. So let's see if maybe we can get a stop, get an interception, maybe get a sack he's gonna throw this away right no he actually threw across body and aj terrell is gonna get the interception so that was our third pack right there guys and also pro fantasy pack but then we won any rage quit you guys that was only our third pack right there but then we won any rage quit so we actually get two more packs there so we have five total packs and we got an interception which is a special pack now depending on you know sometimes i will go ahead and play another game here uh if my opponent quits before halftime which i don't remember if that's even happened at all this year this maybe like the first time we are now six and one of this season by the way on a five game win streak we are absolutely dominating but as i told you guys beginning this video i'm going on vacation so i really do not have time to play another game and be able to edit all that up and get this video done in time so unfortunately that's gonna have to be it for the gameplay part all right guys so we get one pro fantasy pack for the interception right there and we also get five total packs which means we also get fifty thousand coins to go ahead and spend on packs as well so let's go ahead we'll start off here with the get a gold okay so i don't know how many get a golds i actually have sitting around in here and i only have one okay so we'll do this one here and then we get to do four uh oh s79 okay so we get to do four more now so let's go ahead buy 10 times get a gold bundle and of course the 81 plus overall elite does count as one of the get a golds here so this is pack number two of five which we get a team of the week could be good 87 okay you know i'll take that pack number three here we get another elite again i'll take all of the training points thank you very much pack four gold okay unfortunate unfortunate right there give me a coin quick sell coin quick sell please nope another gold and that's me for getting gold so then we have fifty thousand coins to spend on whatever packs i want to and a pro fantasy pack so i want to do an elite pack so we're gonna do an elite pack here and then we're gonna do four get a player packs as well here so we're gonna get into this and then we'll do the get a player packs get 86 honey badger jakeem grant uh i don't think i'll use that but i will definitely take all these training points right here thank you very very much so let's do the four get a players we also get a strategy item since we did win right we won the game so we do get to go ahead and do a strategy item pack right here which we get a common and now let's do the four get a players and then we get the pro fantasy pack and that is gonna be it here as unfortunately so just a gold i do not even care to see exactly who the gold is really doing these get a players i'm looking for power-ups 
and elites right just just more training points here as we get an elite right there mike hughes 83 overall i will take that now i feel like we're gonna have enough training points to probably do like a heavyweight or something like that we're gonna definitely gonna have enough training points here to do some sort of training pack if i want to if i want to do a training pack and get us like a guaranteed some sort of player i think we're gonna be you know good to do that and now we get one pro fantasy because that's all i got i got one interception didn't you know get any swat attempts anything like that just one interception so we get one pro fantasy pack there for the challenge i didn't do the other challenge with the qb draw we get an elton jenkins okay you know i don't really think we're gonna use those i'll take them round two come on elite and just give me a good elite please 88 marquees oh big pull 95 Ernest Jones let's go 95 overall now I don't care for the card however that's a ton of training points so that is gonna be so big for getting us some training points right there and on top of that you know we got 286 overall polls and 87 so right here we get 30,000 training points so we are now up to 40,000 training points here so there are no more team of the year packs in the store However, I could do a 95 overall Super Bowl past or Super Bowl present hero and get a guaranteed 95 to help us out. Now, if we come on over to Super Bowl present and we actually take a look at the cards, you know, that we could potentially get here. Well, in terms of, you know, 95 overalls for the Super Bowl present, Cam Akers, Mike Hilton, Higby. I mean, the old lineman could probably help us out, I guess. Like the 95 overall old lineman, maybe. You know, Darius Williams. He's small, but it would be a, you know, really, really speedy, solid coverage corner. And then we take a look here at the Super Bowl past 95s. You know, Marshawn Lynch, Devin White, Zach Ertz, Malik Jackson, Matt Ryan, Honey Badger. And then we have David Andrews, Limbaugh Joseph. So, do I want to do one of those? Or should I just do, like, a heavyweight pack? I feel like I might... Mm, I don't know. I I'm not really sure exactly what way to go about this. You know, we have 40,000 training points, so we definitely could make some, like, huge upgrades to the team. But I almost feel like doing the heavyweight or the flashback maybe would help us more. And you know what? We've got Cordero Patterson. We may as well try to give him some help. So, let's get into this. Let's do a heavyweight pack here. The old line definitely needs help that's that's not an alignment however actually now that i think about it this is a pretty good card and wozu is actually a pretty good card and if we compare him to adafi owe right faster better excel not as good block shed though but he does have higher finesse move than owe has power move man do i want to keep him I'm trying to think who I have at left side linebacker. Let me go see that. And I've actually only got 87 Josh Allen at left side linebacker. I actually completely forgot about that. So I guess we will definitely take uh, Ochenna right there and throw him in at left side linebacker. So now the pass rush just got a lot better. That is definitely not what I expected today from doing that heavyweight pack. But hey, I'll take it. Let's go ahead and quick sell Josh Allen. And we're back up to 20,000 training points. Now, is that enough to do another one? I think it is, right? I think that pack was 20. Oh, no, it's 22. Okay, I would have done another one. Well, we're on to our training points. So this is probably one of the quicker pack and play episodes you guys have seen from me recently. But another episode and another upgrade to the defense. And honestly, if we get an upgrade every single episode for the defense, I'll gladly take it. Because that is where we really, really need the help. So now we have Adafe and we also have Uchenna Nuozu over there at left us a linebacker playing him, you know, out of position there. So won't affect him much, but that is definitely going to help the pass rush a lot more having those two guys on the outside and then having Quiddy Pay and Gregor Rizzo on the interior. So with that being said, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like video and of course hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.